Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at construction 4 where we find a line perpendicular to a given line L passing through a given point on L. In construction 4 we want to find a line perpendicular to a given line L through a point on L. Okay, so this is our point A. So we basically want to construct a perpendicular line and this time our point A is on my line. So again, there's two methods for this. The easier method would be to use your set square again and line it up with your line L. And again, because it's 90 degrees, we can find that point and then we can draw our line um, which will pass through A and be perpendicular to our line L. Again, in the exam, sometimes they might specify that we need to be able to use a compass and straight edge. And if that's the case, you need to do the alternative method, which I will show you now. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to place your compass point at A and keeping your compass width quite small, I'd like you to use uh, or to draw an arc on either side of A. Okay, so you're going to place it at A and then you're going to draw an arc here and you're going to draw an arc here. Okay, and we're going to label those X and Y. What we're going to do next then is we're going to place our compass down at X and I want you to stretch your compass to more than halfway along this line. We're going to basically go back to construction number two now where we... Um, find the perpendicular bisector of a line segment. So we're going to draw an arc again. You can just do it at the top of the page or you can do it at the bottom as well. And we're gonna go, keeping at the same distance, you're gonna to go to point Y and you're gonna do the same thing, okay? And again, we're gonna to go to the two places where they overlap or intersect. So we've got this point here and this point here. And if you've done this properly, what we should notice is that those three points are gonna line up together. So you're going to line them up using your straight edge or your ruler and you're going to draw a line through them. And what we have found is we have found the perpendicular line that's going through that point A. And again, while this was not the perpendicular bisector of a line, what we did was we created a point, two points on our um, line, which then we found the perpendicular bisector of, and therefore this line here represents the perpendicular line through the point A on line L. Thanks for watching today's video. In our video, we went through how to complete construction four, which was finding a line perpendicular to a given line L passing through a point on L. 